Our next speaker is Esther Casas Criera. She's a farmer, activist, and an agronomist specializing in organic seed production. For the last 15 years, she has been the coordinator of Les Referares, an organic artisan seed cooperative. She's an active member of the Red Day Samalias, where she focuses on analyzing legislation and public politics that affect agricultural biodiversity. Please welcome Esther. Okay, thank you very much to, to, to have possible to be here to the Organics Italians to invite me and to Richard Bernard that uh, I can't see it, but I think it's somewhere here, to tell me about these uh, conferences, that I'm meeting so many interesting people. And my English is awful. I hope I make me understand to you, so I try to do my best. OK. So I'm, I'm coming from uh, Las Rafardas. This is a nonprofit cooperative started in two, 2005. Two years before, we started uh, a kind of uh, recollection of seeds that I will tell you later. Uh, the main purpose uh, is the promotion of cultivated biodiversity, mainly through artisanal production and the sale of organic seeds of local varieties, mainly from Catalonia. Catalonia. Uh, the financing comes mainly from the selling of the seed, 75%, more or less. Uh, we also do training activities, workshops, courses, uh, trying to give the skills to the people, farmers or gardeners to keep their seeds. And also we, we do some job of uh, vari varietal characterization. And we have some grants for that, but a few things. Uh, all the, the activities of the the cooperative are developed by working by four working partners with the same salary we have. Uh, the things that we do all together, it's planning uh, the field work, sanitary control, agronomic and organoleptic evaluation, accompaniment and embodying the farmers and collaborators network. We do also the germination control, seed cleanings, packagings, all these things that you know with the, we have to do the people who produce seeds. So um, the the farm that that I work personally, uh, we are doing this this year. We we get to do the 50% of the production. At the beginning, we did the the 100%. We did the all the whole production, but slowly slowly they uh, they are farmers who have. Uh, interest on, produ on produce these uh, heirloom seeds. And they have been adding slowly to the cooperative, looking for a complement to their incomes through selling, through seed selling, because they are mainly dedicated to organic vegetable production. And all of them, are, they value their products through their selling into the local markets, consumer groups, and cooperatives. And they uh, are selling these heirloom seeds, and they are, uh, doing just uh, maybe 10, 15 percent of the dairy incomes are for seed production. These farmers are progressively being trained and empowered to become self-sustainable on seeds. Uh, we are coordinating this group of uh, these 18 farmers uh, with the plan of productions and joins the visits to the, to the farms looking for a good selection and optimal seed health. And at least once a year, this, these years lately, we're meeting two, three times a year. But uh, we meet to value the campaign, agree the seed prices. That is a, a big issue. Yesterday, we, we talked about that a little bit with the Willamette Valley visit. Uh, remind the way that they should be delivered, uh, which varieties they should be multiplied, technical travel or successes. So, and this, this network is distributed in the, in the region of Catalonia. It is about uh, one eighth of Oregon. So it's a very small region that we are spread out. So the, from where are coming these seeds, uh, the seeds that we are, we are doing, we are multiplying. 
are, are coming, have been prospected from the traditional farmers, mainly from Catalonia. They have preserved and we selected them from generations. So uh, about 2003, we started uh, uh, this uh, uh, step of going around the Catalonia and going to meet uh, these farmers. And also, as Sarah said, they, they also, they, we always ask them, okay, maybe if we like, if it's well adapted and this, we, we want to sell the seeds. And they are so proud, they are, at the beginning is like, but yes, you are interested on in that, but it's something very old, nobody are interested on in that. Maybe their daughters or son, they are rejecting on that varieties, no? And it's like, poof, it's difficult to understand that we have interested on in that, no? So, and in the, in the package, we always put the name of the person who gave us the seed and the, the town or the name of the farm that they are. And they are kind of super proud of being part of this project or being this spread action. No? So a part of giving us the, the, the seed, no? the genetic material, they, they are giving us so uh, important information, all the knowledge relate, related to that seed. So how to grow, how to keep, how to do the conservation of these varieties, and also how to cook them. So it's, it's really very important, all this conversation and talk with these wise people that they have so much important information. No? So uh, we, during all these years, approximately, we have identified and cultivated 500 varieties, more or less, of 66 different species. And we are trying to involve not only the farmers, cooks, uh, nutritionists, consumers, everyone who has interested in that. So in Spain, we have a, uh, the problem that we have a very important lack of supply of organic seeds. So uh, the use of organic seeds and seedlings is mandatory for those registered on the certification of organic farming. So I imagine us here. But uh, the creation or continuation of micro enterprises dedicated to the sale of local varieties adapted to organic farming has not been facilitated at all for the government or for the laws that are existed right now. And we are living a big, a great paradox, no? In a, in a country rich, very rich in agri agricultural biodiversity, the organic seeds offerings are mainly done by conventional relocated seed companies, mostly hybrid or intellectual property varieties. So uh, the people who is doing organic farming nowadays that maybe is the most interested on in these varieties are cannot use these varieties but because they are not uh, offered there there doesn't exist on organic farming and they are kind of obliged to use these commercial varieties produced a long way ago so we have this uh, bad situation and also the authorization of organic farming are are not stopping growing. So every year there are, there are more and more and more authorizations to use conventional seeds, to use non-organic uh, seeds. Okay, so uh, we are a kind of pioneering initiative because we are authorized to produce organic seeds and uh, we are responsible for the expansion of organic seed supply through the introduction of heirloom varieties into the database of organic seeds of reproductive vegetative material managed by the, the Spanish Ministry of Agriculture. So all our production is certified in organic production. All these 18 farms that we are working together, all of them are certified for organic. We don't produce seeds with an intellectual propriety or hybrids. And we believe that conventional criteria of genetic selection or breeding adapted to agroecological system need to be updated. Uh, well, we, we have the, the warehouse where we, the seeds are proceed uh, and the store is the same time on Muro. The, the base of the project of the cooperative is, is about one hour from Barcelona. There is also, uh, we have a very 
a seat storage chamber with optimum condition of temperature, humidity. So it's very uh, simple infrastructure that we have. And I invite you, all of you to come whenever you want in Catalonia to see our project. And, and it's really, we are very, really, very happy that uh, we are uh, trying to, to promote to cre the creation of more uh, initiative from different regions. Uh, nowadays, the uh, one that is, is already started in uh, Mallorca, in Balears, in the, and another in the Basque Country. And they are doing a kind of the same work that we are doing. They are uh, taking the seeds of the zone, uh, the heirloom seeds, and they are selling these in an organic way. So we are um, trying to multiply these, these uh, initiatives because uh, we think that it's interesting to keep uh, smaller projects, not to increase like a project and to be a big company or whatever. If not in every region have very small companies and keeping the biodiversity of each uh, region. Uh, so uh, another very important part of our work is to to, to spread the, the knowledge and how to keep the seeds, how to, how to uh, do the valorization of the local varieties. No, we, we, did, we promote a lot of uh, seed swap, I, swap, I don't know if I pronounce well. Mm -hmm. So in, in uh, more or less four times a year, we do this open house uh, day. And it's coming professional farmers, amateurs, uh, cooks, uh, consumers. And uh, they participate to characterization work, visit to the seed production gardens, testing of different varieties. These uh, tasting uh, events, or I don't know how to say it, is something that we like very much. It's like uh, how is the best way to explain to the people, hey, look, we have so many varieties, so incredible. Uh, everyone and it's a very nice way to to give this message you know the people when you say okay there is uh, 40 varieties of onion mm, okay this is something that you no know, you can oblige easily but if they taste in the middle of july with uh, 35 degrees of temperature i don't know in in your celsius okay it's very hot <laughs> so they have very clear that wow what's that we have 40, 40 varieties of onion, yes, and they realize that there are different tasties, there are sweet teas, there are another different spicy or whatever. And we like also to, to, to participate with the schools, kindergartens, no? These, these uh, children there, they are maybe two, three years old, and they were amazed to taste uh, different varieties of lettuces, so. It was like kind of when we were preparing that, we were saying, okay, these children will like to eat lettuces. <laughs> so, but they were crazy, like, wow, they throw it to the plate, like, no, and I don't know. I think that this message maybe arrived them, no? And it's nice, it's nice. And also we did some of uh, this cabbage, uh, not very attractive at the beginning, no? A cabbage onion tastes and, but, but yes, it works very well, and we like it to do it very much. So a part of our job of producing and to doing these uh, workshops and these tasting events, uh, we are involved in uh, many networks. At a uh, local level in the region of Catalonia, we have a, a network. Uh, now is a federation, and we, we are 11 community seed bank, and maybe all of us together, we are, every bank is maybe uh, conserving and multiplying 500 varieties of Catalonia. So it's a kind of incredible richness that we have all together, and we, we are working very locally in, in Catalonia and doing this kind of promoting, no, this, these are some pictures of them. So uh, who, there are people who is uh, specialized on wheat, on cereals uh, to do bread, and others with tomatoes, and others with uh, wild weeds that we don't eat. And 
to, to spread this knowledge of the wild weeds you can eat as well. Other with fruit trees. Um, then we are also very involved on the network uh, at a Spanish level, at uh, Red de Semillas, Red Sembrando y Cambiando. Um, at, at this level, we work very much with this uh, to promote more initiative uh, to, to, be, to begin. And also we are trying to, to pressure the central government to, to change a little bit the, the law, how it is now, or the policies that they are applying that we think that are not enough to promote the biodiversity. So we are kind of doing these uh, things. No? Also, we are... Uh, we are connected with uh, an European level with uh, Croquers de Carotte. Uh, that is a kind of, um, I don't know, biting um, carrots. Uh, this, this association is about uh, seven or eight uh, micro enterprise network that now is uh, in a moment that we don't know if, if we go forward or backward, but is there and we had uh, met many times where we had it changed so many things altogether because there is this size of uh, projects and enterprise that you can interchange many things no like as yesterday I went to Sarah's house I was oh I want to ask so many things the way to change the way you separate things or the way you organize your protocols and all these things no so it's it's really very nice uh, the interchange of information that we that we do, no? and also at a European level, all the 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 networks of uh, seeds, uh, mostly in France and Italy and Spain, are the 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 groups are participating participating the most. Uh, we celebrate every year the Let's Liberate uh, Biodiversity. It's a kind of seminar that uh, there are talks, uh, seed swaps, and all these things. And it's going to be on May, so in Italy. So maybe you can come there and you will see what we are doing in Europe. Mm, uh, to finish, I would like to say that uh, the way that we sell the seeds, uh, we are mainly uh, selling by our website. And, uh, and then also we do some markets. And we have some racks in about 20 stores in Catalonia, always. I uh, think that we are, we are selling our seeds very locally. 86% are sold in the region of Catalonia. And the other in the, in the neighboring regions. So it's very locally interest. Even our, web, our website and our packets are uh, written in Catalan. So um, it's... We don't put it very easily to spread out our uh, region. We are not interested in that. So um, actually, we are practicing, practicing civil disobedience. Since the 70% of varieties we offer are not in the governments officially accepted in the catalog of varieties. So uh, we think that the law it doesn't, doesn't make any sense for the moment. So we decide to go straight and to, to do this. So maybe one day we will change. We don't know. So that's our proposal. Uh, and that's it. OK. Thank you.